Good morning. It's Thursday, June 10th. And uh, as usual, we've gathered here today to solve the New York Times crossword. And we're going to do it live because that's how we do it. So let's do it. It's by Sheldon Polonsky, which is not a name I recognize. Um, and it's Thursday, so we are subject to whatever trickeration uh, Sheldon wanted to impose on us. Let's see what we got. Start of an, an encrypted web address. I mean, I don't think I've ever been to an encrypted web ad address. I don't think. Not familiar with the dark web. I wouldn't even know how to find it. Uh, go follower. Hit the deck. That sounds pretty good. Model Miranda. Hmm. Tip off. A clue. Hmm. I wonder. I mean, maybe that's not deck. I don't know. Color me surprised. Everybody in German. Oof. Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael. It's like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, it's also four really famous artists, but whatever. Um, a, contra a contractor's figure is probably an estimate. Something Beach, California. Following after. More treasured is dearer. Counterpart of down. I guess that's just a cross, right? Polishing the chandelier in the Phantom of the Opera. Okay. So we definitely have a theme here. And it's definitely these long acrosses. Procrastinator's promise. Like, later I will um, port something. Oof. Like some nail polish shades. Hmm. Day following hump day. Well, that's today, Thursday. The entertainer is an example of. Jeez. I mean, the entertainer, I think of the Billy Joel song. I also think of like Cedric the Entertainer. Trace. Ain't too proud to beg. I definitely owned this album on cassette. Professor Moriarty's first name, exchange for a tenor. I think that's Finn's fives, right? I'm going to run away without leaving home. Hmm. The only way to run, the only way to run away without leaving home. Biological cavity. Roll on alternative is a spray deodorant. Tuned in aware. A group with wands is the TSA. Legendary queen once depicted on Tunisian currency. So I think this is like Noor and OOR. Um, maybe not though, because this is standards, right? Generic queen. Hmm. I don't know. Consumers of audio and visual media only. Audio and visual media only. Like, what's the other kind of media? Print media? I mean, that's visual, right? Snail like is slow. Comedian Richter, Andy Richter from the Conan O'Brien show. Very funny guy. Uh, tessellated creatures in Escher prints. No idea. Brought on, hired. These days. Is that right? So is this just a HTTPS equivalent? Equivalent. Reason to avert one's eyes for short. Marsh birds. It's like e egrets, right? But, no. Marsh birds. Herons, egrets. I mean, but I'm pretty sure deer is right. 
X in XXX, maybe. It's probably, uh, I don't know. And that derives from the Hebrew word for earth. First female U.S. Attorney General. I think that's Janet Reno. That's... I mean, X, X, X. I just think of like sex, sex, sex at a, like a gentleman's club or something. Most expensive spite in, spice in the world by weight. I'm sure I've, I'm sure I've never cooked with it, whatever it is. And I've probably never eaten it frequently. Uh, so this is like a lot, I think. So it's not hit the deck. It's not hit the road. Hit the wall. Wall. Tip off. Hit the wall. Oof. I'm surprised. God depicted wearing ostrich feathers. Oh boy. Per each a political candidate run something a political group hmm. a little over three grains yikes big name in rental cars is like Hertz or Alamo or so it could be a few things one or two person vehicles in the Olympics like. I want to say luges, but are there two person luges? There must be, I guess, because it's not like a bobsled. Could just be sleds. Entertainer. Huh. Sorts of latex. Edie Falco. Oh boy. Those must be ones then. Um, hardened sets, maybe. Ending of seven country name Stan. River that starts in Pittsburgh, Ohio River. Finish some gift wrapping is tie a bow. Oops. Word before black or blue. Let's say that's jet black and jet blue. Meager, like. The only way to run away without leaving home. Hmm. Maya Rudolph, very funny lady. Let's see what we got. There's a poorly planned invasion of high snatchers. Like no time to something. Carry on limit, one bag. Apps audience are users and guard Ooh, biological cavity Eesh. oh i mean i want this to be like on guard g-a-r-d-e that's supposed to be geese right phil hartman very funny guy take two is a redo go Okay, that works. Unknown sources anonymous. Make as one's way wend. Out of whack, awry. Let's see what we got here. Tired of all this negative media coverage. Uh, this is going to be news. News, right? Uh, bad news. Bad news. I don't know. Ode. Consumers of audio and visual media only. <clears throat> so DNA non of non readers. So it's not on guard. Hold you. And mass is what it is. The bad news boxes. 
the bad news boxes. Oof. I mean, it must. This just must be every web address must be encrypted, I guess. And that's just HTTPS. Go follower. Hit the. Let's say it's hit the wall. Color me surprised. I hadn't heard or like. Everybody in German I have no idea what that is. Ugh. So this is Renaissance. I mean, right? Renaissance something. Is it like Menlo Beach. Pismo Beach. Pismo Beach. And I know that from the movie Clueless, when they did the Pismo Beach Disaster Relief Fund. Thank you, Cher, for that. This is Snipes then, right? X and XXX, maybe. Adam? Oh. I hadn't... I had no idea. Pack, go cart. All right. Hey, glad that came together there. So X and XXS is kiss and it's tack. Okay. Sure. Um, polishing the chandelier in the Phantom of the Opera and laundering uniforms in Hamilton. So it must be something chores, right? Musical chores. Musical chores. Okay. How does that help me here, though? Doesn't. There's promise soon. What is this? Tantamount. Okay. That's a tough word. I mean, that's a pretty serious word for a grid. I don't. I mean, tantamount is a word we rarely hear. And I can't remember the last time I saw it in print. Uh, Osiris, port something. If, if some nail polish shades are like, what is this most expensive spice? I'm going to have a lot of trouble here. I actually like, I'm pretty worried that I won't be able to finish that corner. Um, the entertainer is an example of trace. Like James, Jules, oh, Alamo, oh, that helps. Say so it's James then, right? And what is Port? The entertainer is a mag. A little over three grains. Hmm. I don't know. Of poorly planned no time to yikes meager sparse the bad news Bores, the bad news. Oops. So chairs turns to chores. So bears turns to bores, I guess. And it, latex comes from some kind of tree. Yikes. Renaissance fair. It's a Renaissance four. Okay. No time to spare. No time to spore. I guess the only way to run away without leaving home. Art. <laughs> oh, Abe's not. So I had fins here for tenor, but it's Abe's. What's this is art. Rubber tree, right? 
bit trace. Okay. Like some nail polish shade nude. Oh, so this must be saffron. Hit the. What is it? A little over three grains is a. Uh... Act up. Port. Salute. Parrot. Tip off clue. Hit the sack. Uh, her. Nice. That was pretty hard. A eh? fifteen, seventeen. I mean, that's a, that's a tough puzzle. There's a lot of interesting fill here. Um, took me a little while to get the theme. Once I did, though, they kind of all fell into place. Like once I realized that it was just changing the A to the O sound, um, that made it fairly easy. I don't really. I mean, Renaissance four musical chores, no time to spore, the bad news bores. I mean, it's it's fun, it's whimsical, it's wordplay. Um, so that's a trifecta of good theming right there. Um, but they don't really have anything in common, I guess. And I don't know, it's, it feels a little bit loose. Um, and there were some, I mean. Saffron, I feel like I should probably have known that was the most expensive spice in the world. I feel like I've heard that before. Um, but there's some stuff in here that I just, I mean, Antrim, like, I, I don't, I can't ever recall hearing of an Antrim. Um, so that's tough. Uh, Non-readers, like, I, like, I mean, our book's not visual media. I... I guess like is that print media? Is that a different thing? Like it's something it's something you look at rather than listen to. I just it seems like an odd clue. I don't really understand. Um so it's a little tough. Uh James Moriarty, I I don't have any idea who that guy is. Um I mean Professor Moriarty, that's a thing, right? I don't know. I feel like he's like a Edgar Allan Poe or something. Um overall though, I mean pretty good. It's got a theme, a theme that was fairly clever and had a nice aha moment when I cracked it. Um, there's a lot of interesting fill that, um, that, uh, made me smile. Um, there's nothing like, I don't know. I wish that there was maybe a couple of like really interesting names that I was happy to see here. Um, Phil Hartman, of course, but we've seen him a bunch. Andy Richter is always nice to see. There is a bunch of letter stuff, DNA, STDs, um, oh, although that's standards. That's just short for standards. That's not the other thing. Um, yeah, overall, I mean, that's a pretty good solve. Like, that's a little bit tough, which is what I prefer, um, especially on a Thursday. Um, there were many moments when I didn't think I was going to be able to, to crack this one, and that's always kind of a nice feeling when you over overcome your um, skepticism about your ability to solve it. Um, it feels a little overlappy. I don't know, aware, awry, Andy. I don't know. There's a lot of A stuff, like kind of all in a bunch here. Um, Sheldon Polanski. And I wonder if it's a debut for him. Uh, I feel like this is the kind of, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like Thursdays are the ones that people have this like brilliant idea and then they just grind and grind and grind and try to make it work. Um, and get submitted. Um, whereas like a Monday, uh, you might, you might spend a little less time creating a Monday puzzle. Um, but I don't really know because I've never had a pub puzzle published. So, um, anyways, I feel like I'm totally rambling here. I'm not providing you any real analysis. So that means it's time to sign off. Uh, later today, I'll have my whole review of this puzzle up on crossboss.blog. So check that out. If you enjoyed this video, then click like, and if you hope to see more videos like this from me in the future, then please click subscribe. Um, but in the meantime, really happy you joined me here today for this live solve of the Thursday, June 10th, New York Times crossword. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.